Welcome to my channel, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. Prince Charles has been described as an activist by nature hinting at his tendency to breach royal protocol. Prince Charles has been tipped astray from royal tradition as the inheritor to the throne, has been branded an activist by royal commentators. Despite the monarch's function as head of state, the royal household are seen as politically neutral figures that, even though regularly worried in political affairs, do no longer impart their personal opinions. Controversially, the Prince of Wales has been described as an activist by nature suggesting the Royal Association under the management of Prince Charles may want to see a drastic shift away from neutrality and closer to a more described line of royal opinion. Speaking on the Channel 4 doku series The Real Windsors, historian Dominic Sandbrook said, I assume Charles is more activist by way of nature. He referenced an interview with the younger Prince Charles as he added, those words, influence and encourage are very telling. He's obtained passions, and he's received beliefs. I suppose he continually notion I need to make a contribution, and some humans don't like that do they? Mr. Sandbrook added, some humans assume he shouldn't have any opinions at all. The historian advised the prince had hoped to go away his mark on the royal household in a legacy of contributions. While closely worried in the work of charities throughout the nation, when it comes to political contributions, the royal household is predicted to stay neutral, with an awful lot of their public involvement with government figures serving an extra ceremonial role. Official palace guidelines confirm the monarch have to remain strictly impartial with appreciate to political matters, a line of motion Prince Charles would be anticipated to observe when he takes the throne. Despite the common royal stance, Prince Charles has been cited for straying from conference to remark on political matters. When the Conservative government outlined plans to deport migrants arriving in unlawful channel crossings to Rwanda for processing, an unnamed source close to the prince leaked his criticisms of the policy. Prince Charles was once mentioned to have labeled the Tory scheme appalling, with the supply including he was not impressed with the government. A spokesperson for Clarence House later said, we would no longer comment on the supposed anonymous personal conversations with the Prince of Wales without restate that he stays politically neutral. Over the years, Prince Charles has gradually constructed a recognition for interfering with political affairs, leaving some royal commentators to question his suitability as inheritor to the throne. Royal writer Margaret Holder has been outspoken about the prince's previous of habitual meddling in the political sphere. Ms. Holder said, the Queen has remained independent in her 70 years on the throne, and that is what Charles must be too, especially as he might also come to the throne in the subsequent few years. The end result of his habitual meddling and political things ought to be a rise in republicanism after the Queen goes. Drop your thoughts in the comments section and please subscribe.